Hey traders, Ragi here. And in this recap video, we're going to cover the NQ, the crude oil market, and gold. So taking a look at what's been happening on NQ, on a day like today, when the market just seems to be in meltdown mode, the most commonly asked question I get is, how do we know what to do with a day like today? How do we know where the floor is? How do we take advantage of the sell-off? So I'm going to talk about both those scenarios. First of all, we don't have any Darvis 2.0 levels. Once we broke this level up in here, there's nothing else that's really popping out. So we have this level that broke right off the bat, and then there's nothing, right, until, until down in here. So there's no automated support and resistance helping us out. No problem. What else will we then go to? Major and minor psych levels and gaps. Are there any gaps? No, nope, no visible gaps, really. So then we go to major and minor psych levels. Now, major will always take precedence. Major psych levels in this case, 5,900, which we sliced right down through, 5,850, and then 5,800. So there's three of them, really, with any kind of proximity at all. 5,850 just happens to be the level we stopped at, but hindsight makes this a really easy find, right? In reality, when the market was melting down, this isn't so easy, although 5,850 should be something we consider. The best thing to do in the meanwhile would be transition over to the five minute chart. And that is we dissect that large daily 1440 minute candle with five minute intervals. That way we can see what's happening at each one of these minor and major psychological levels. So as this market melts down, the thing we wanna do is keep in mind that as long as price action stays below the 34 EMA, on the high, which is this green line, the upper line of my wave, that the swing short and that lower lows are something that we can try to take advantage of. And we would short then into the wave itself, into the area between the 34 EMA on the low and the 34 EMA on the high. So it's like this wave, this, this channel, if you will, that we want to take advantage of price action within. We had a couple opportunities to do this. All right, and even more aggressive levels like the 13 and or 21 EMA are valid when we have the propulsion dots. So propulsion, that makes a more aggressive level like a 13 EMA valid. Okay, so a lot of different nuances on this intraday trade lower. The second question is, and this is probably the one that a lot of traders want to know is, how do we know when this market's reversed? Rather than stepping in and buying the 50 level, which some traders did in our room, how do we take advantage not of exhaustion, but of momentum, or a MOMO as I call it. How do we take advantage of MOMO? This is how we do it, with a wave reversal and CCI confirmation. That's what we have right here. So what does that mean? We wait for price action to break the 34 EMA on the high, which is essentially what? It's a stopped out swing short. It's a stopped out intraday trade. It stops out there, and this is that stop and reverse. Now, we don't do this often, but that's exactly what a wave reversal is. It's a stop and reverse with a CCI confirmation. And that's what triggers the buy in that area. Now, there's a number of these kind of guidance trades we saw throughout the day. Let me take you on over to crude. Crude was just on fire. So what happened with crude? Here's a different kind of stop in reverse. Crude all broke our validity for the short. We take our medicine. As soon as we know we've lost validity for the previous trade, the best thing we can do is not revenge trade the same day, the same time frame, this daily that we got into. Don't do that. Go short term, 15, 5, 30, 60, and look for clarity. And that five minute, once again, very nimble, gave us an opportunity to say, well, you know what? The market's on a tear to the upside. I don't trust it up at these highs, but as long as we are following the dynamic support of the wave, we can follow that with very low risk. When we see the propulsion dots here, we can go for the 13 and or 21 EMAs. When we lose the propulsion dots, we can't. When we have the propulsion dots, we can look for breakouts through the Darvis 2.0 high. When we don't have the propulsion dots, 
We can't. So here was a good example of where we could take the break out. Here was a good example where I can't. Now there are going to be levels, but you know, here we had an awesome opportunity for a swing by in this 5130 area. That's not a bad fill when the market went to 5230. That was a full one point. And this was a trade we talked about earlier where sure, be ready for the eventual reversal if that were to happen. But in the meanwhile, you got to follow the trend because a wave reversal is actually a stopped out swing by. So it's that stop and reverse. We don't have, we didn't have the stop and reverse. We kept right on taking advantage of the movement higher, the swing by. So until that stop and reverse happens, follow the trend and do so in a short term time frame. So that was another great example of using an intraday time frame when the dailies really just didn't give you the clarity that we needed. And it's always searching for clarity. So the other market I had a lot of questions on today was gold. And I want to recap gold. Gold is a interesting trade whereby this is more about patience. This is not about going to a short term time frame. This is more about patience. When the market can remain above our point of validity, which is what this one did. It stayed above our POV, which was at 1290. As uncomfortable as that is, as long as that trade's valid, there's a chance we're going to follow through. And that's exactly what we had here. I'm going to show you another use for the short term time frame. And by the way, if you like these kind of trades, if you're like, wow, I love the way you're moving from a daily time frame to a short term time frame. You know, I like daily time frame charts, but I want to day trade too. How do I know when to day trade? If you want to join me tomorrow for two full days of live trading, what you can do is go to simplertrading.com forward slash profit. So we've done the class and that's recorded and ready to go. I'm going to have the slides as well as some resource videos available online. So you can access that recorded five hour class that we did this past Saturday. But if you want to join me for the two days of live trading, you can go ahead and sign up for the professional package. We're going to start that tomorrow. And if you want to join me, you can still access the course whenever you want but you can join me for the two days of live trading and I'm going to cover everything. We're going to be trading all markets. This won't just be futures and Forex. This is going to be futures, ETFs, stocks, Forex, everything. We're going to be doing that live trading with SMS texting for two days. All right. So you, you can take advantage of such situations like this. A lot of traders ask me, okay, Rog, we've got a winner here. We've actually rallied very nicely. And some of those traders who are taking heat said, I don't know that I want to sit through another sell-off. I've got in some cases, you know, eight, nine points plus with this rally today, I don't want to sit through another pullback. How do I know when to get out or even better? How do I know when to get in? A very tight stop loss would be a guidance trade of the five minute. Two things can happen here on the five minute. You can go ahead and take your profits off the table here, pay yourself, and you can also, again, stop out with a profit and then reverse in here. So you obviously can take advantage of the movement to the downside. But for those of you that don't want to keep such a tight stop and are thinking, well, how can we get on board if the market's going to continue higher? That's where you can take advantage of the 15. And I'm going to show you how to look at the five minute different than the 15 different than the 60 and how all that will work with the daily for those of you with a higher risk tolerance or for those of you that don't want to stick with the short term day trading. Day trading is not a strategy. Day trading is really about a time frame selection. And I know I've run a little late, a little long on this recap video, but I really want to show you some some tactics here for free that I think can make a major difference, be a major needle mover in your trading. I hope it's helped. I'll see you all in the premium video and hopefully I'll see many of you for the class tomorrow, simplertrading.com forward slash profits. Two days of live trading. We're going to be starting at uh, 930 Eastern going to 4 p.m. So hope to see you there.